Hi, Coach. Just tell me a little bit about that first half. Well, I mean, you know, uh, one, Coach Richard does a great job. He's a great coach, and he's had to, you know, uh, Deshaun Smith uh, was lighting it up. I think he was five for nine in the first half and uh, did a phenomenal job. They're 10 for 16 from the three-point line. We can't get anything to go in, which, you know, sometimes that happens on a pretty regular basis for us. But uh, defensively, we just didn't compete, and we didn't do the things that we're capable of. And then we didn't take advantage of a size differential to get the ball inside to try to get some buckets. We just seemed, seemed tentative. We didn't seem like we were capable of doing the things that we've done been doing. That's not the same team that I've seen compete in the other games, and that's what's frustrating. And Monroe is an excellent team, is very well coached, has got really good pieces, but I don't think that it should have been that type of game. You know, sure, the way it goes, you say, well, coach, you're making excuses. No, what I'm saying is that we've got to do what we do well, and we didn't do anything well tonight. But they did a great job, and uh, my hat's off to them. They came in here and took it to us and, you know, just did an excellent job. What was the message to half? Uh, you know, it wasn't very good. It was just that, you know, you got to compete. And, you know, I'm the only guy that can scream and holler and never use any four-letter words to my team. But I was really close to wanting to use some of those tonight. But, you know, I just told them that, you know, you, it's, it's about being a competitor. It's about having heart, about not getting knocked down. And, you know, I felt like the first two minutes we came out there and we had a bucket, to draw, a guy driving the bucket and gets gets bumped, doesn't get the layup up, and the next thing down there hit about two, three threes, and I mean, then they were off to the races. So, you know, contrary to what some people think, you do continue to coach the game, because I know one of the uh, officials was questioning why I was calling timeouts after the game. My job is to coach to the end of the game, just like my job is for my players to play to the end of the game. So if I don't coach the whole way, I'm not doing a good job. But we did run a play and get the ball and get an open shot, and that was important because this time of the year is a preseason time of the year, and you've got to get ready for conference. The tough part of it is that you get a home team game against a good team that you've had success with, competing, competitive games, of course, last year we went over there and we won by 14 or 16. Now they come in here and they almost double us up, you know. But still, very, very uh, frustrating. And um, you know, we just we just got to regroup and try to get better. And you know, I feel like we will. We'll go to UTEP for a guarantee game. Then you got uh, then you got uh, Texas A&M. Then you got Texas Tech. So you know, there's no time to uh, cry over getting beat, even though you got beat really bad. You got to you know figure out where you are and take take it to the your opponent. Yeah, if you can just elaborate that a little bit more. Obviously, like you said.